literally have everything of aqua clear. Have everything that you could think about of aqua clear. Aqua top as well. Oh, I've never seen these. I've never seen these before. Wow. Little guys is right here. Hey, little guy. What's up? What's up? Oh my goodness. This is my buddy's flower horn. Wow. Freshwater selection is huge, guys. They even have sharks. Look at that. Wow. They have all community fish you can think about. They have axolotls. This tank right here. This small lionfish. He was smaller when I came last time. Still haven't gotten rid of him. What's up, guys? So this is my buddy Chris. What's going on, y'all? Uh, he did just set up this planted taint. Here, I'll give y'all a better look. Damn, bro. That's sweet. Yeah, I was looking at the FXs, bro, because I'm thinking about getting a 90 gallon. But what do you think, like 270? Two Aqua Clear 70s could be good too? That'd be good too, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, man. Aqua Clear is a really good brand. Either Aqua Pier, Marine Lab. Damn, that's sweet, bro. You gonna put any fish in there? Oh, yeah, bro. Right now it's just shrimp. Um, nice. In about a week, there's gonna be a candy pocot bait in here. Beautiful male. Um, and then there's gonna be a schooling fish. Oh, bro. Yeah, man. <laughs> yeah, I was talking to that girl, Ta uh, Taylor, like, mm -hmm. yesterday. She was all, yeah. Because I was gonna come yesterday, bro, but mm -hmm. I had to get some stuff in my car, man. It's just fucking dope. I was looking at that stingray though, cause this is a room in the back that they have. My buddy has a couple of flower horns or two flower horns. Yeah. So here's the blue diamond, cherry red flower horn. This one actually came in a little sick. So this being quarantined right now, you can see the pearls on the head. It's just a little messed up, but wow. being treated and they'll grow back. You just gotta make sure you take care of these right. So this one's that one that fully recovered, right? Oh yeah. So this one's good. I just need to find him a good home. So if y'all are interested, guys, this is a blue diamond flower horn. He is very beautiful, very active. Wow. Yeah. And he loves to eat, too. What are these, like 20 gallons? Yeah. No, these, these are tens, but being that they're quarantines, they're, they're fine for them now. But oh. they, they do need bigger tanks. So. Right now, so. He's huge, bro. Yeah. They're beautiful, dude. When I have a guy, I told him once I get him better, that he's going to come and he'll, he'll take him off my hands. So we are going to feed the shark. One of them is sleeping. Come on, my beauty. Whoa. She's a beast, bro. So they're both females? Yep. They're really calm sharks. So what, what, what kind of shark are these? Reef these sharks? Guys, these are bamboo sharks. Bamboo sharks. Yeah. Really calm. Dude, not when they're babies. We used to sell some. This is like almost like three years ago. We had a huge tank right here filled with a bunch of juvenile bamboo sharks. They're so you can have these like legally? Yeah, bro. You don't, you don't need a license or nothing like that. And when we had them, it was in this tank. Right. And in this tank right here. It was right here. It was a big old tank. And it, it was from about right here all the way to about right here. And it had about six juvenile bamboo sharks. They were about like mm, eight, nine inches. We sold them for about 200 bucks. They were really nice. They were with stingrays. That's sweet. So they're really calm, peaceful. Um, they love hand feeding. The more you hand feed them, the more they really get in tune with the owner. They're chill, yeah. bro. Yeah. So my buddy has a little lemur. What's her name? 
She is actually, she's a little sugar glider. And her name's Willow. Oh, Lima. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> You're good. Yeah, she's a sugar glider. I've had her since she was a baby. She's still, still growing. They live about anywhere from like 12 to sometimes 14 years, so. She'll poop on my hand, right? Let me see. Come here. Ah, she'll. <laughs> What's his name? Solus. Solus. Oh, he's so cute. He's just staring at me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody does have a sand boa. This is a Kenyan sand boa, everybody. How do you think he is? He's probably already like anywhere from like two, maybe three years. I had had him, and I surrendered him to the pet shop. Um, his name, he was, his name was Kenny. <laughs> Kenny. Yeah, but how big do they get? Thing. They can, they, they don't get too big. They're not like your pythons and your your corn snakes, where they get almost like threes six foot he, he maxes out usually around like barely even two. Oh, okay yeah. that's not bad so they don't get too big but they're very calm snakes beautiful snakes Damn. so they bury themselves wow that's pretty cool that's pretty dope it's like you don't have nothing like you don't have nothing in the tank <laughs> That's pretty. So they have ducks here at Polly's. My buddy's friend breeds them. Damn. That's. Damn. Yeah, bro, they do fine with all the fish. The fish don't mess with them. That's a butterfly cord or mm -hmm. just a platinum? Yeah, a butterfly. Wow. That's sweet. Tears up those freaking feeder fish. Oh, they're hunters, bro. And they're pretty fast, right? They don't look that oh, fast. Yeah, bro, fast. Look at how they move their, their back fins. Mm. They just suspend themselves and get ready to hit it. Look at look at this fin. Like back dark. They like dark. Watch inside. the back fin look. He just ate them all. Holy damn, he did. He's got one more left. Two more. Get him! Get him, get him, get him, get him. Oh. It's like intimidating, right? <laughs> so if you would touch him, I'll find one. So I don't know if you can see, but there is a shrimp right there. Right there, right. There. <laughs> There's a whole bunch of shrimp in here. They're just all hiding. Except this little guy. Wow. <laughs> Two other ones that over there. Ooh. Was he this big when you got him? No, dude. He was, he was half the size. He, he got bigger for sure. Wow. He's already been here for almost a year. So these are all y'all's big boys. Huh? Yeah, man. Percy. <laughs> that dude's a killer. A little panther grouper. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, he hides out people when fish come. Oh, man, he rips them up. Damn. And, uh, the trigger. Oh, gosh, dude, I love this swim pad. There was a flower horn that was sick here years ago. I've been here for almost coming on four years, but yeah, when I first started, it was one of my first fish. And she was very sick, and I took her home, took care of her, and I decided to put her in here just to watch her grow and so people can see her grow. Really She's beautiful. And big, calm. bro. There she is. Oh, yeah, they did feed him.
It's a horseshoe crab. Whoa. Very prehistoric. Wow. That's pretty dope, bro. You're right. And he'll dig his way back in the substrate. <laughs> Let me help him out. There you go, buddy. Nice and safe. He kind of looks like a ray, bro. Right? Like a, like a skeleton. Ray. See, look, he thinks my food is something to eat. Oh. He's, He's smart. He, yeah, see, look, he just gradually just throws himself like a leaf and acts fake. Right, right, right. And then when he gets close enough to the shrimp or whatever he's going to eat, he will strike at him and eat him. Like, mm -hmm. It's amazing, right? Wow. It's like we know you're a fish. <laughs> look at the eyes, dude. You see how glassy the eyes look? Oh, yeah, you're right. Look at that. Look at his eye. And they were like reflection. Yeah, right? people always think they're like, oh, he's dying. It's like, no, he's just a leaf fish. That's what he does. He's dying. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, this is the leopard. Wow. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's crazy. That's the leopard, and the one that shot off over here, that's the snowflake. There he is. Ah, uh, snowflake eel. There you go. It's like a ribbon eel, right? 